Uh, thank you, Professor Duan. Uh, just uh, Professor Wang, Fusheng Wang, have uh, gave up the very nice speech, focused on the uh, immune pathogenesis and uh, the, uh, uh, the treatment strategies. So uh, I just uh, uh, emphasize something on this topic. OK, this, uh, as we know, this uh, HPV infection is a global uh, health burden, uh, especially in Asia Pacific areas. About 75% 70, uh, HPV infection in Asia Pacific areas, including uh, China, is, uh, it's about 5.5% so far for HPV infection. And uh, HPV uh, infection is an important reason for the SCC in Asia Pacific areas. In the SCC prevalence is at the 10 to 30 uh, fourth risk in HBSAG positive patients. You can see that in China and the Asia Pacific areas is a, a big burden for SCC. So Professor Fusheng Wang have mentioned the, the uh, uh, HPD is an immune mediated disease including the disease progression and the injury liver, and also the main control is the big issue for the, for the, uh, for, for the final control of the disease. So this is uh, the balance between the virus and the host immunity. In the, in the virus part, there is a, uh, the CD, the template for the replication virus, and the high viral load and the antigen, high levels antigen is a, uh, is another big issue for HPV infection. And also have the mutation for drug resistant mutation, uh, pre-C pre and the BCP mutation to get, escape the immune uh, control. Also, the replication out of liver may be the one reason. And for the host immunity, we know that the impaired innate and adaptive immunity to HPV infection, especially for HPV specific CTLs, uh, uh, expression uh, impaired in uh, HPV infection, and we know that uh, Treg expression is uh, higher, and the PD1 expression is uh, is higher in uh, uh, chronic B patients. Also, uh, recent just uh, Professor Fusheng Wang mentioned, member T member B cells impaired in the HPV infection is another big issue for the immune tolerance in the crown fee patients. So for the, uh, for, the, <coughs> for the virus, we know this, uh, the, the completely, uh, this uh, completely closed circle DNA is uh, the key player for the persistent HPV uh, infection because in the uh, his uh, com template, it's uh, two, two, uh, uh, two ways to, to, to restore this uh, CCDA. One is the virus goes to, to the hepatocyte and the uh, into the set uh, nucleus to get a CCDA. It's another, this, is, this way is easy to, to control because we use the uh, nuclear analogs. Antiviral treatment can control the virus in the, 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 the serum levels is lower, uh, it's undetectable, and the, the, uh, this pathway is to be controlled. Another way is the uh, in the, is the, happened in the hepatocyte. All the uh, uh, HPV infected cells, hepatocytes, is a factory for the uh, replication of virus. So this, uh, this, this uh, circle, we couldn't uh, uh, block it so far. All these drugs, including nuclear analogs and interferon, didn't touch this is a circle in the uh, hepatocyte. So the CD template uh, uh, destroy depends two ways. One is the, uh, the hepatocyte died with the, uh, with the, uh, uh, with the apoptosis. It's another way, it's an uh, important way for the immune-mediated uh, HPV uh, infected hepatocyte apoptosis. So important, uh, so immuno, immuno uh, control is very important for the uh, CCDA. So unfortunately, there is a, defi a deficiency of uh, uh, host immunity in HPV infection patients. This is a very early study. 
uh, showing that in the acute uh, resolved HPV infection and the chronic HPV infection is totally different with uh, CD4, CD8 uh, profile. You can see left, this is acute uh, resolved uh, uh, HPV infection. You can see CD, CD4 response is very strong. Also, there is a strong CD8 uh, CTL, uh, CTL response uh, in acute uh, HPV infection. Compared with uh, acute infection, chronic uh, HPV patients, you can see very weak CD4 and CD8 uh, response. This is a very important reason for the uh, uh, persistence of HPV infection in chronic B patients. And uh, this is another study from, uh, is, uh, published in 2008. It's for acute resolved uh, chronic B, uh, 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 HPV infection. You can see very strong, uh, very, uh, <clears throat> strong CTL response and can control the virus to inhibit the, the uh, viral load dramatically decreased and keep in low levels. And for chronic HPV infection, the uh, uh, CD8 response is very low, both to uh, uh, core antigen and polymerase uh, uh, CTL response is very lower, is undetectable. So this is uh, another study support is uh, CTL response is uh, very important for control HPV infection. So the defect immune response to, uh, in uh, Crown B, including insurface and innate response, defect CD8 response, and a recent study showing uh, that the defected B cell response is another big issue for the uh, so persistence of Crown B. HPV uh, antigens and, and the virus can inhibit the uh, immune system. This is uh, the the key reason for the immune uh, deficiency in Crown B patients. So, the, uh, <clears throat> in HPV uh, uh, infected patients, the antigen presenting cells, including the dead cells, B cells, and macrophage, is a kind of impaired function. We know that the, for the uh, immune response, the dead cells and the antigen presenting cells is a key. Uh, player for the uh, immune control. Unfortunately, in HPV infection, uh, the dead cells is uh, impaired, including the uh, pres uh, antigen presenting and the activation of T cells. And also, in some times, the dead cells can inhibit uh, the immune system, can increase the T-REC expression. Uh, our early study showing that in HPV patients, the dress is uh, uh, decreased. It's, uh, uh, it, the dress cells function is impaired in chronic patients. And also in the in, the in vitro study, the dress cells can uh, increase the T, regulated T cells expression compared uh, when cultured with the T cells from the patient's uh, PBMC. Another one is uh, NK cells. NK is in innate immunity. It's very important in uh, uh, acute infection. NKT, NK is, uh, uh, is impaired in chronic B patients. And also, just like uh, Professor Wang mentioned, T cell exhaustion is another issue, including the TREC expression, PD1 expression in uh, chronic B patients. This study uh, summarized that uh, the antigen, high expression antigen in uh, chronic B patients can inhibit or block toilet receptor pathway. We know that toilet receptor expression is important for the innate immunity response. But in, uh, in different studies showing E antigen don't regulate toilet receptor 2 pathway in the macrophage and the monocyte. And also the surface antigen can inhibit the NFKB b and the MARC pathway to reduce the cytokine uh, production. And uh, surface engine can reduce the uh, uh, interferon alpha production by uh, inhibiting the uh, toilet receptor 9 expression. Recent studies showing uh, 
Torres chapter 7, 8, 9, organisms can promote the immunity, but the surface engine can inhibit the Torres chapter 7 and 9 expression in ground B patients. HPV uh, infection can uh, induce uh, NK cell dysfunction by inhibiting receptor pathways. This is, uh, you can see, with the HPV infection, the uh, percentage of NK expression is uh, downregulated. It, uh, you can see it's a significant difference. And uh, the mechanism for that is uh, the, the uh, NK cells, uh, this receptor pathway is inhibited by the HPV uh, compound, uh, HPV proteins. This is another study for a published journal of Hepatology showing that a significant increase of NK cells after interferon treatment. So with the interferon treatment, the patient have uh, achieved uh, serological response and the, uh, 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 and the virological response. You can see the NK uh, levels increase compared with the non-responder. So this uh, tells us that NK cells expression is important for the immune control or system response for interferon-based treatment. And also in palliative uh, interferon treatment, the NK cells activation, uh, uh, you can see the, uh, with the responder, with uh, palliative interferon, the NK cells increase and the function is increased. You can see the, uh, uh, the expression of the interferon gamma is increasing. It's a circulating uh, intrahepatic uh, uh, antiviral B cells is uh, very important. But uh, in chronic B patients, uh, memory B cells is impaired. Just uh, this is uh, the same uh, publication Professor uh, Wang have mentioned. You can see the HPV SP surface engine uh, specific B member cells in uh, chronic B patients is increased. But at the same time, the PD1 expression in these uh, B cells is in, is the same time increased together. So that means this, uh, although the uh, HPV specific B cells increase, but this is uh, may blocked by the PD1, PD ligand contraction. And this, uh, uh, Professor Wang, um, have showed that. We, we see in chronic B patients, the uh, blockade of BD1 can partially recover the dysfunction of uh, very specific B cells in chronic B patients. This is a uh, uh, health control. Uh, you can see the increasing with uh, uh, blocking of BD1. At the same time, you can see similar result in chronic B. It's a significant recover of the member B cells in, uh, in the treatment of PD-1 antibody. So there's an exhaustion of T cells in uh, chronic B patients, especially in CT8 uh, T cells. There's the many reasons, uh, Professor Wang mentioned, for the uh, TREC expression, PD-1, uh, PD, PD ligand expression, and also some inhibition uh, factors including inter, inter, uh, L10, TGL beta, and the uh, uh, dangerous cells, antigen presenting cell dysfunction is another important issue for the exhaustion of HPV specific TCL. The TCL exhaustion is uh, an apoptosis by the persistent HPV infection. It's many publications showing that. With uh, high levels of HPV DNA or surface engine, you can see the uh, T cell exhaustion by a different way. One is the uh, antigen presenting cells can express PD, PD1 and PD ligand. Once the, uh, this kind of uh, antigen presenting cells uh, contact with uh, T cells can induce the T cell exhaustion. So antigen presenting cells in seric uh, can induce immune response, but another way is can inhibit the CTL response. And also, 
the 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 the, 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 the hepatocyte express PD ligand. We have did uh, uh, this study uh, ten years ago. In the uh, in the hepatocyte, you can see the PD PD ligand one and the PD ligand two expression. So that means hepatocyte can re, can can uh, induce the CTL uh, exhaustion in the in the liver. So this uh, the the liver environment is not good for t CTL response. Also, this uh, the T cells, uh, exhaust T cells is uh, lost this uh, replication, uh, lost the function of uh, interferon gamma uh, production, etc. So uh, it's, uh, it's kind of uh, exalted. So, but this kind of uh, CTL is can be recovered by blockade for the PD1, uh, uh, PD1, PD1 ligand interaction. So. This is a, a study uh, published uh, in uh, 2008. You can see in chronic B patients, the PD-1 expression is increased, and uh, PD ligand expression is uh, also increased. So this is the, the basis for the T cell exhausted. And uh, this study is showing that the blockade of PD-1 in combination with the IL-12 can enhance the very specific response and recover the TCL re response. You can see it here is showing that uh, with the uh, blockade, the, uh, here you can see, with the blockade of the PD-1, PD ligand interaction, the interferon uh, 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 expression is increased significantly, both CD8, CD4 uh, T cells. So this is a, a similar result showing the blockade of PD ligand can enhance very specific T cell response. This is in liver, and in uh, uh, you can see the interferon gamma uh, expression is increased after the blockade of PD PD ligand one, and in the blood it's uh, similar. So this makes sense to to use PD one PD ligand uh, uh, blocker to enhance the very specific CTL response in chronic B patients. And uh, this is an early study showing that the new treatment, lamivudine-based treatment, can, can increase the re, uh, CTL response. This is a kind of balance. Uh, the, the high viral load and high uh, uh, antigens, uh, res, uh, antigen levels can inhibit the immune system. Once the uh, viral load decreased, our, uh, our surface energy and levels decreased, the immune response can be uh, uh, restored. This is, you can see, the sustained response group. You can see the, uh, uh, with tetramer assay, the uh, uh, HPV-specific CTLs uh, increased. And also, this is uh, similar things. With the uh, sustained response uh, group, you can see the high levels IPB specific uh, CTL in the in the in 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 uh, in the uh, in the patients, and uh, this is a uh, uh, another study showing with the uh, uh, long term long term nuke treatment, the T cell response can restart it, including the interferon gamma L two and the TNF production in uh, HPV specific CD8, CD8, CD4 uh, uh, T cells in, in vitro. You can see with, uh, uh, with new treatment, you can see the increasing uh, interferon gamma uh, expression in CTL, uh, in CTL and the CD4 cells. So this gave us, uh, uh, gave us a, uh, a suggestion that the antiviral treatment is the basic for the immune control. This is a result of the function of HPV uh, specific T cell after long uh, term nuke treatment. Uh, this is uh, interferon gamma, it's the IL2 expression. This is uh, uh, acute uh, hepatitis, this is a spontaneous uh, result, and this nuke treatment with the surface engine negative, you can see very high levels uh, T cell is response. This is a similar with the new treatment with surface engine uh, uh, negative patients. 
this um, immune control patient, you can see very high levels uh, T cell response. And also, HPV specific T cells are required for immune control in uh, HPV uh, infectious patients. This is from Botulati's uh, group in JCI, showing that in with the uh, non-flare patients, you can see uh, uh, the core specific T cell response in the in the in the body, and the polymerase is specific the same. So this is a high levels CTL response can keep the uh, sustained. Uh, antiviral treatment. So immunotherapy is uh, very important for, for the uh, chronic B patients because there's a serious uh, impairment of, uh, of the immune system in chronic B patients, including the exhausted T cells, PD-1 uh, expression, and the NK and the B cells dysfunction. So the strategy for HB clinical cure, including the targeting virus, uh, for the, uh, for the nuke, for the uh, uh, core inhibitor, et cetera, all this targeting the virus. And uh, targeting the immunity is a very important issue. Uh, this is uh, our main need so far. So, but uh, many studies showing, uh, gave us uh, some promising data. This is uh, the uh, surface engine inhibitor. It's published early, showing that uh, the, the rapid downregulate uh, of uh, surface antigen. With the surface and, uh, decrease, you can see the ALT flare. This is, uh, means the immune uh, response in this part patients. So, so I'm uh, uh, interested in the surface and inhibitor may be an important uh, drug for the clinical B patients. And this is uh, published uh, this, uh, in this LD meeting showing uh, the interferon, interferon RNA uh, and uh, vaccination uh, combination gave us very promising data. This is a, a therapeutic vaccine. It's called a surface engine. And uh, the, uh, with uh, adenovirus uh, uh, as a vector for the uh, interferon, interferon RNA and combined with the vaccine. So you can see the, uh, uh, the, the combination treatment can promote strong CD8 response. It's a very strong CD8 response. And with the kind of uh, CD8 response, you can see the function cure for the uh, downregulation uh, surface engine decrease, E engine decrease, and uh, anti HBCS increase in these part patients. So, with, uh, after treatment, five months uh, follow up, you can see this very strong T, T cell response in the uh, combination group. And these part patients, you can find. This is sustained, uh, sustained uh, 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 disease, pro, uh, disease uh, uh, stable for the, for the, uh, from the histology. You can see the inflammation uh, released in the response uh, group. So this uh, study uh, showing that the antiviral treatment targeting virus and uh, combination with the immune therapy can finally solve the chronic B patients. So I'll uh, just summarize with these uh, uh, figures uh, adapted from the Botolati's uh, publication uh, 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 2014. This is a combination, direct acting antiviral agent and the immunotherapy will achieve the clinical cure. Uh, thank you for attention.